Okay, so uh, hello everyone. My name is Gabriel Brown, uh, Senior Analyst with Heavy Reading. I'm here with Eric Larson from Cosmos. Um, Eric, for those who don't know, could you just remind us a little what, what it is Cosmos does? So we supply DPI software to uh, ISVs and equipment makers, and they put the Cosmos software within their products. Uh, these could be products for traffic shaping, this could be uh, products for quality of experience, cybersecurity, analytics, etc. So we give them the visibility, the real-time traffic visibility that they need to build their products. And uh, the, the reason why they work with us is that it gives them a short time to market and it also gives them continuous signature updates, which is very tricky to do. And how does that relate to some of the, the major trends we see in telecom today? Well, to summarize, future networks we think will be based on components. Uh, components linked by open interfaces, public APIs or published APIs. Some of these products will be uh, commercial, other products will be open source, and they will all be mixed uh, to optimize the network architecture. Uh, and this is perfectly in line with Cosmos strategy because we've been selling software components uh, for years to the networking industry. And in fact, some people even say that we've been applying STN and NFV before they even existed. You sell these software components to system vendors, but how do you map that through to, to, to the operators and what it is they want? Well, to make sure we supply the right software components to the integrators and the vendors, we need to also understand the telecom operators. And uh, the telecom operators today uh, what are they looking for? They, they're looking for fast and easy service creation and they're looking for lower costs. This is a lot of the principle laid out in STN and NFV. And uh, we think that uh, one of the ways to achieve this fast and easy service creation is the intelligent dynamic service chaining. And that's why we're talking a lot about service chaining at Cosmos at the moment. And um, uh, one of your major products for this year is the, uh, uh, the classifier. What, what is a classifier? So the classifier is uh, a product based on Cosmos network intelligence technology and the pack and inspection. It classifies the flows. And in this case, it can be used to enable this service chaining. So all the different services you have in a mobile GI LAN environment or the services you may have in an enterprise data center environment, for example, uh, virtual CPE. By knowing the exact nature of the flows, you can then optimize the chains of uh, the, the services that all the traffic is going through. And the, the classifier, who do you sell that to? So uh, the uh, Cosmos technology comes in different form factors. We have our DPI engines, which is a software development kit, we have a virtual network function components, which also embed DPI in a VNF, for example. And then our latest announcement is the service classifier. In this case, it's a standalone service classifier in the form of a uh, software appliance or even an Etsy-based uh, uh, form factor. And that would be used by a systems integrator. And the systems integrator would take best of breed components and build this future network architecture for the operator. And so what are the key benefits of, of that to the, the telecom operator? Well, first of all, it, it does this fast and easy service creation because unlike uh, products that exist that may be a, a PCF or TDF or switches who do different functions, uh, the Cosmos classifier is actually focusing just on classifying doing that very well, uh, giving you both the subscriber awareness and the uh, application awareness that you need in order to uh, programmatically create all these service combinations in a very efficient way. Uh, the second thing is it lowers cost because this is just a software only uh, kind of product. It runs on any commercial off-the-shelf hardware, uh, which means that you can optimize your hardware costs on the server side and even on each of the services, you, you have uh, this dynamic service chaining, which means that you only use and consume the CPU resources that you need at any given point in time for any key type of uh, traffic. Sounds a very interesting product. Uh, when's it going to be available? 
So the service classifier is available now, uh, H1 2015, for lab trials and uh, proof of concept. So we have a lot of discussions at the moment. Uh, anybody who's a systems integrator uh, or a vendor would like to try this, uh, they're welcome to contact us. Terrific. Thanks, Eric.